Hello everyone, I'm here with my cousin today. Hi, I'm Allison. And today we wanted to talk about me getting my first tattoos and matching tattoos. She wanted to talk about some of her past experiences with tattoos. And she actually has a few notes that she's gonna be looking at throughout the video just to make sure that we stay on track. All right, so this is how me and her finally got our matching tattoos. So you wanna tell them how the idea even came to mind? So. I know that some people might find the story ridiculous, but <laughs> I think it's actually pretty funny. So I had this dream one night that I was working as a cashier and I looked down on my arm and I had this butterfly tattoo. And that's pretty much the origin of the story for me. It doesn't really have any meaning or anything attached to it at all. By that point, I already had seven tattoos and she said she wanted to get one with me. And we were already planning on getting a tattoo. So I was like, all right, I'm down. And she threw out like other ideas, but I didn't really like them that much, like a guitar, that just really mean nothing to me she said a butterfly and i was like that would be kind of fire because i already have a rose so a butterfly with the rose i mean there's those just go hand in hand so i was like okay i'm down so we finally decided to get the tattoo but it was really my fault because we we should have been had this like a long time like last year but i already knew her i knew her mom and i know you're watching this so shout out to you but <laughs> I already knew she's gonna be mad at her getting the tattoo and I wanted to make sure she actually wanted the tattoo. So we had waited months and I just kept prolonging it, waiting and waiting and waiting. And then she eventually was like, okay, so are we gonna do this or not? Because I'm tired of waiting, I'm ready for my tattoo. I was like, all right, so if you're really down, like let me go make the appointment. So now I booked it and then a whole week later, boom, we walk in the shop. So what was, what was your expectations like when of the shop? What, what were you thinking it was gonna be like? I expected it was gonna be good for like every other aspect in my life before I do anything I do tons of research and for this I did none which is really surprising for me because I'm very thorough but I trusted that she was gonna take me to some place that was gonna do a good job so I didn't really have any concerns mm -hmm. so the guy who did it his name's blessed ink uh, Instagram it's blessed underscore ink it'll, it'll be, be in the description yeah. I already know and then it's in Arlington in the candy shop if you're looking for it he also did this one on me so if you're curious so there is a deposit fee that you have to pay so if you don't want to do the deposit fee you're not going to get tattooed by him but that's that's most people like if you make an appointment like to make sure your appointment set you have to do a deposit so no so they won't take anyone else on your time and then when you walk in the first thing that they do is id you first they id you and you do your paperwork like basically saying like if, if it doesn't turn out as good as you thought it was you're not going to sue the, the tattoo artist or the shop saying like you're actually of age and let me say this right now all these people that are watching if you are under 18 do not get a tattoo don't do it it's not worth it it doesn't turn out right half the time it doesn't heal right the person who did it will mess you up and that's for life a tattoo is for life so i mean just wait until you turn 18 like it's really not that big of a deal like i'm so happy that i waited and i'm happy that she waited too so we didn't get anything stupid yeah because whenever i was younger there's like so many different ideas for tattoos that i wanted and none of them have carried with me now so definitely waiting is going to be your best bet to get the best result possible mm -hmm. there's a five dollar fee um each tattoo shop is different but the one we specifically went to i've been to a bunch of different tattoo shops but the one in, in candy shop so then you have to pay a deposit fee already so like that's before you even go into the shop you have your deposit fee setting your appointment so then when you go in you're gonna fill out your paperwork but with your paperwork there's a five dollar fee i don't know why they do that i mean it's probably just money but it's whatever it's just five dollars and it has to be cash so that's one thing if i were y'all always make sure you carry cash like like my artist he's cool to where he has a cash app so you can send money through there but not every single artist has that and then it's really frustrating because sometimes they'll say, oh, well, we don't we don't accept card, but we have an ATM. But then you have to pay an ATM fee, if you already know that, since it won't be, like, through your actual place, you know? So if I were you, I'd recommend if you carry cash if you can. Make sure you have your ID. They won't tattoo if you don't have your ID. And, like, you, you could, even if you take a picture of your ID and you show them, like, a picture on your phone, that won't accept it. Because they have to scan it so it can be in their system. So if anything ever were to happen or, like... You know just so they can say like no like she showed us an id so if they say like if you're underage and you show them a fake id and you get caught with they it and it they'll, they'll pull that up and show them like no like this is what they showed me so i mean you're gonna get caught like just don't do it it's not worth the risk and then they're gonna take you back and then so what was your expectations for out of it and like the whole process 
And like, was it longer than you thought it was gonna be? Like, did it take the same amount of time? I feel like it was like a reasonable amount of time. Like, I went in knowing it was gonna be really painful because you've had tattoos in the past. Mm -hmm. and you told me how painful it was gonna be. Right. But my motto was like, I may pass out, but I'm not gonna tap out. Like, <laughs> I spent all this time, you know, wanting to get a tattoo, and the last thing I was gonna do was bail before it was even done. So my thing was like, no matter how much it hurts, like I'm gonna go through with it. Right. And in the area that I got it particularly, it wasn't really painful either. So mm -hmm. I wanna show. So I got it like right here, which is like a good spot. Mm -hmm. and, and then mm -hmm. yours is in like a different place. A little bit. But mine's on my arm. You can see it. It's at the top right there. And then I also have my grandma's birth year. I got a red rose and I got the butterfly with her. I really like the placement that she got her tattoo because he kind of made it one piece with the mm -hmm. whole rose and everything. And I really like the placement of where I got my tattoo because if I wear a long sleeve shirt, you can't really see it. And I feel like it was the perfect place for me because it was painful, but other areas are far more painful so i feel like it was the best thing that we could have done mm -hmm. in terms of placement and i like him because i was very specific like i know me like when i get a tattoo i know i'm a pain because i know what i want and i know what i don't want so I'll, if, you, if you do know what you want like be very specific like details is gonna help your artist the most so with my tattoo specifically the the um butterfly I had chose the wings of a different butterfly, but I like like the face and the body of a different butterfly. So he had matched those two together for me, which is really nice. Cause some artists would have just been like, like no, it's like it's already ready like this. Like just like why can't I just do it like this? And they'll try to talk you into it. So if you have an artist that tries to talk you into what they want to do, do not let them tell them because this is what they'll try to tell you. Like even like on my rose and like my other ones, like they would try to tell me that what I wanted was wrong. Like what you want is never wrong. Like. If, if that's how you envisioned it that's how you can get it like some artists they just want they want it to be their way you can just leave and find a new artist because there's gonna be a lot of artists that do that and that's why i specifically didn't get tattooed by a lot of them because like yeah like your, your work is cool and all but it's like i didn't want that and now i have to have that for life so be be very very cautious about who you go to because just because everyone can tattoo doesn't mean they're gonna respect what you want like a lot of artists they'll they'll like do their own spin on it and if you're okay with that and that's cool but I know me, like, if we talked about one specific idea, I expect me to get tatted that exact idea, not a little spin-off version of your own, you know? All right. And then on a scale of one to 10, how bad do you say it hurt? Probably like a seven or eight. I feel like it was pretty painful. Yeah, it's up there. Like, especially when he was getting, like, um, Wait, which which part of it? to the inner arm, like, right like right around here like the body i think that mm -hmm. was probably like the most painful part mm -hmm. but um i think that i handled it pretty well yeah, she was literally laying there on her phone just watching netflix while, while her arm is just out there just getting tattooed like she took it so good like if you saw her face she was just like poker face just the whole way through i held her hand and like she squeezed it but you couldn't tell in her face that she had any type of pain and i knew it hurt because she was so quiet she was so quiet. Like, I was talking to her and she wasn't really talking back. I was like, oh, I understand. Like, it, it really does hurt. But at the end of the day, like, just make sure you don't move. Like, if you know you have a low pain tolerance and you don't think you can sit there for that long, then don't get something that we got. Like, we got a butterfly, and that's a lot of detail. So that that includes, like, you know, the fade, the shadowing, the shading that they have to do, like, the little white specks on it that they had to do. Like, and, like every little thing, like, if you want, like, a detailed tattoo and you don't have a pain tolerance, do not get it because you probably won't be able to sit there through it. And if you need to take a break, you should let your artist know. Just be like, hey, like, I don't think I can hold on to this much longer. Like, I'm, I'm about to start shaking because I hurt so bad. Like, you can take a break. Like, it's okay. Like, like, take a little cool, like, two, three minute break and then get back on it. But don't sit there and overwork yourself. Because if you overwork yourself, then your tattoo won't heal right. Also, if you think about going in there drunk or under any type of thing, don't do it. Don't do it because they won't tattoo you. And you're, also, your tattoo won't heal right. So that's a very bad idea. Don't do that. All right. So what you should do before getting a tattoo. So me and her, I mean, ours are different. Mine, I didn't really have to worry too much. Like, obviously, make sure you eat. Because some people, that get so nervous, they'll just pass out. And make sure you're breathing while you do it. And then her, 
she had to she has eczema so what did you have to do i did drink a lot of water before i came in i also had to make sure that i ate a really good meal as well which is really important because even though it was painful it was just a lot easier to go through and if i hadn't done that then it probably would have been a lot worse for me mm -hmm. and then do you regret your tattoo i think i regretted it at first but it was more so because of the way people reacted to it some people were like oh well you shouldn't be getting a tattoo and they mm -hmm. always had to like throw their two cents in right. but my thing was like this is something i wanted to do and like she said i was asking for months about doing it so it was something i was serious about and there were people who had negative things to say positive things to say people are always going to have something to say like no matter what you do so mm -hmm. i'm just going to do what i want but in the end i'm satisfied with how it turned out and i think that he really captured the vision that i was going for would you go back to him for a second? I would go back. He seemed really serious about his craft. Like, he had all his drawings hung up, and I could tell that mm -hmm. he was very invested and that he really cared about how it was going to turn out in the end. Right. He's very professional, too. So that's something to respect. He's on time about everything. He doesn't slack. If you ask him questions, he'll answer it. He gives you a whole aftercare paper. So if you don't know aftercare, I'm going to just tell y'all so your first okay i'm gonna tell you like two different incidences because this one it healed way different than the ones on my arms so this one he had covered this up and then i had to leave this on for i think three days after so like i could take a shower but i couldn't get it wet at all so after the third day then then i finally like put it under the water so it loosen up you take it off <clears throat> and then you're left with it, it looked like, like all bloody and stuff underneath but that's normal and then you know like wash it with the antibacterial soap make sure that you have no type of sense in it if it's scented then it'll mess it up and then it'll honestly first of all it'll fade it and it can infect your tattoo so that's two big no-no's that you don't want and you know if you just have a fresh tattoo you, you don't want it to get faded because then you're gonna have to touch it up already and that's just that's the pain within itself so you know when you start washing it make sure you wash it i do it twice a day some people do it more than that, but I think it's just excessive if you do it more than that. Like, obviously, if you just worked out or something, wash it real good, and then you put on your ointment. Um, I only use A&D on my arm, though, because that one got infected. But this one, I use Aquaphor, and that's what I usually use, Aquaphor. And then you use that for a week. So wash it and then put on your ointment. You do that for a week. And then once the week is passed, then it should start peeling at that point. Once you get your, your peeling to start happening, that's really good. That means it's starting to, like, heal good. Everything's doing good and then never pick at it if you pick at any of your tattoos then that causes fading and then it causes like spots on your tattoo where like the ink didn't really hold so on my arm like the the it got infected because i went swimming with it which is really dumb don't ever do that in your life it's so stupid but i went swimming with it and then i got infected and you're so, allergic to red ink as well too yeah and i was allergic to the ink so i mean that didn't help so my arm was like swollen it was red. I had to take Benadryl like almost every day because it was just so swollen. And then it finally went down. But now I have scarring on it. I can, I'll send her pictures and she can upload it and you'll see. But there's like a little heart scar. I have some scars like on the inside of the rose. I'm gonna actually go back to Bless, the same guy who did my butterfly in this one. I'm gonna have him retouch it up. So that's going to be very nice. It's going to be vibrant, bright red, bright green, everything how I first had it when I got it done. Once you do all that, and then make sure you go to lotion. So then you're going to wash it with antibacterial soap and then unscented lotion. Make sure everything's unscented. It's going to be your best, best friend. And then make sure you do your lotion. You're going to do that just until all the peeling's gone. It's all done. Don't pick at it. Please, please, please don't pick at it. And at this point, don't keep it covered because it needs to breathe so it can actually heal. So then after that, you know, then you're just left with a nice tattoo. Also, I would say different tattoo artists have different aftercare instructions. So just follow what your tattoo artist gives you because it definitely varies between them. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, what's your general advice for a first tattoo? Just make sure that you're prepared coming in, like I said, making sure you're hydrated. Make sure that you're definitely getting something that's going to age well over time. That's another reason why I'm glad mm. I got the butterfly because, like I said, it has no meaning towards it. Some people, they get someone's name or something like that, and then things happen, and then they have to go get it covered up. So just make sure that it's something that's going to stand the test of time for sure. And like she said, make sure you're doing your aftercare because if you slack on your aftercare, you don't do the right things, it's not going to turn out well, and then it's going to be money wasted. Mm. And then even after your tattoo like completely healed and everything, you still need to keep up with it keep in mind like this is this is ink there's foreign ink that just went into your skin so 
over time it's eventually gonna start fading and all this extraness and you're gonna have to go back and get it touched up you know that's just that's what the cost it is to get tattoos like you should know that going into it so like i know in about like 15 years or something like that like like especially the ones on my arm they're gonna be faded because you know like you're sweating a lot you're doing like very active you know it's just that's just how it happens and also make sure like even like on a daily basis you should just be like make sure you like lotion it all because honestly my skin gets like pretty dry like i don't know about y'all but i make sure like everything stays moisturized and it'll make your tattoos last longer if you keep up with it if you if you don't treat your skin nice and everything like i mean it's gonna be what you treat it like if, it, if you treat your skin bad well your tattoo is not gonna end up good it's gonna end up bad so i mean what you put in is what you're gonna get out i smell a little too similar reaction did you not expect about you getting a tattoo like what was one thing that happened that you didn't expect I don't know. I guess I didn't expect people to be, like, so severely disappointed, especially because, like, of the placement of it. I feel like right. tattoos aren't that big of a deal. Some people just act like it's a bigger thing. And, like, I didn't get it in, like, I didn't get a face tattoo. I would never do something like that. But the place it's in, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, like it's, it's, kind of, it's honestly, it's kind of crazy how much negative connotation, like, people have on tattoos. Like, it, like even just going to the grocery store, people will look at you, like, try to, like, yeah. like, push their kids, like, try to hide them, like all because you have a tattoo because when i wear long sleeve shirts and like like this one it's never showing like and i have like one on my leg that never shows because like i'm usually wearing pants and i'm always wearing like long sleeve shirts or a jacket so you can never really see my arms so when i when everything's covered people just treat me regular and it's fine but when my tattoos are showing then like obviously the people who are okay with it they don't really care but then the other people who are like more conservative they're just like they have like more of an eye on you like they'll stare at you a lot they'll like look at you a lot like it you get a lot of reactions you're just gonna have to get used to it and what you're gonna have to get used to the most annoying part about having a tattoo you know where'd you get it and then you'll ask what's it mean to you and it'll just be random people just random people all day walking up to you asking oh what does that tattoo mean to you first of all i don't know you and oh and a lot of people will think it's okay to try to touch it like to try to like oh i really like your tattoo no it's not okay that's never okay so PSA to all the people out there, please stop doing that. Don't ever do that. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. I don't like that. One thing I really like about my tattoo is just like, I feel like it's very tastefully done. Like that's something that I was really concerned about. And I feel like the placement of it, just the way that it looks, I feel like it looks really great. That's another reason why I didn't get why people were so concerned about it. Like it's tastefully done. Like it's not anything out there. It's not right. a gigantic tattoo. So I don't really understand the concern. If society was different, then I would probably get like a lot more tattoos like on my arms, not like a sleeve, like maybe like a couple more. But if I do get another one, it's probably going to be like on the back of my shoulder or something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like right down below. You can also hit the red subscribe button right down below to be notified every time I post. And if you hit the bell next to that, you get a notification to your phone every time I post. There's no new second channel video this week, but if you hit the first link down in the description, you can check out my last one, which is a car tour. And my grandma was actually in it and me talking about how I got my first car. And down below in the description, you guys can also check out her Instagram, the artist who did our tattoos Instagram. Also, mm -hmm. my social media will be down there as well. And thank you so much for being in my video finally. Yeah, it's been a it's long, been a long time coming, a long, long time. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want us to do more videos about tattoos or anything else, then leave some comments down below in the description and we will make that happen. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.